Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com, uh nightly wrap up show up everybody is uh doing well uh we'll get to everything in a second a lot of information again if you aren't brand new thank you very much for uh joining us if you could just be so kind so kind and click a like share uh subscribe and i will try to handle my best right handle the rest uh to help you guys out uh navigate on a day to day basis so uh, definitely one of the wildest three days, um, I could remember in a, in a very, very long time. Uh, we knew, you know, we absolutely knew, uh, once we got back below the 50 day moving average, you're going to have a lot of volatility. It's just, it's just one of those things, uh, when there's a bull market and it's linear, you know, everybody's happy. There's no selling pressure, all that good stuff. But once you start getting technical damage, you can see here we've been now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days uh, below the 50 day. That's when things start getting uh, incredibly hairy, especially uh, from the bull case. Uh, as you see here, we've had two candles, literally two candles in now the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14. You're talking about nearly three weeks. We have two green candles, which means there are two days that are closing higher than they open in the last three weeks. That is called a sell cycle. And the volatility is incredible. We saw the NASDAQ go down 450 points three days ago. We saw the NASDAQ rally 450 points today. We saw the NASDAQ follow through this morning, got back above the 50-day moving average sucked everybody, right? Sucked all the investors back into the water. Come on in. The water is fine. And I tell you, this was one of the most disgusting rejections I could remember in a very, very long time. What was the last time you saw it? And again, this is where you know you're in a, in a very aggressive sell cycle. What was the last time you saw the queues go from 75 to 56 on one day, right? You're talking about a 19 point reversal in the queues. That is insane. Uh, without going through all the pivots for you guys in the webinar, you guys know what we did today. Phenomenal pivots today. Absolutely phenomenal. Stocks are just falling in dollars. I again, guys, if you're an investor, it's hard to, I, I get it, man. I, I, again, I empathize and sympathize and all the eyes is with you guys. I get it. You're in a position, you're just watching it melt and melt and melt. And there's strength and you feel like you got some hope. And then you realize with the technical side of it, nothing has changed. Uh, and it's frustrating. I get it. But from the trading aspect, again, and, and again, I have no idea. I've always maintained this uh, every single day when we record the video. We talk about, I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. I am preparing for what I think is going to happen tomorrow. But until it happens, right? Until it happens, until things get confirmed, we have no idea. However, we're getting a lot of clues. And, you know, today, super impressive, super aggressive day. Um, and now we are kind of in the reality of what happens next, right? Uh, you look at the final tally today, the Dow down 500, the NASDAQ down 400, the S&P down almost 1.5%, uh, 75 points. Uh, not only did today's candle engulf yesterday, as you can see, not even, I mean, this is insane. It engulfed the previous three, four days as well. And like I tweeted out right before uh, tonight's major earnings, if it wasn't for Apple, if it wasn't for Amazon, I would have been short overnight with both hands, both feet, and both of my vaginas. That's right. Both hands and feet and both of my vaginas, right? So speaking of earnings, right? Speaking of earnings, obviously uh, the big nights, right? With the market needed a white night, they got it yesterday on uh, Meta. Meta came out with great numbers yesterday, but just like everything else, Meta got sold. Ironically, the names that started yesterday's rally, if you guys remember, AMD had great earnings yesterday and they sold off AMD. Today, they confirmed the five-day moving average. They lost earnings low. Again, this is the market telling you 
We don't care about good news. We might accept good news for one session, but we don't care about good news. You had Microsoft, right? You had Microsoft come out with a decent quarter. We actually had a phenomenal pivot today uh, to the upside right at the open. Uh, but the point is they sold it off. And now we're a day away from Microsoft losing the, its earnings lows from two days ago. But here is kind of where the market needed a relief. We wanted to see a little bit more data and we got the data. So let's start off. Again, usually I would say let's start off with good news. I guess let's start off with good news. Let's start off with Apple. Apple is flat after the after the close. Okay, uh, they came out with earnings. They beat their top. They beat their bottom line results a little bit light, right? A little bit light on um, on earnings from China. We'll see if that impacts the stock. Right now, the stock is literally flat. Uh, stock closed at two eighteen thirties. It's trading literally two eighteen fifties. Right? The stock is absolutely flat. In my opinion, again, who the hell am I, right? But in my opinion, you can't just beat a little bit, right? You need to have a massacre quarter uh, for you know for the market to really react. Again, Meta had a massacre quarter yesterday, massacre, destroyed all metrics, and they gave pretty much uh, you know most of the day back. Okay, uh, as of right now, Apple's up. Let's see where it is uh, again. By the time I'm done recording this video, Apple, who knows? Maybe Apple's up six, seven points. Uh, but then again, watch tomorrow. Right? Watch tomorrow. The after uh, after hour lows is 214. Again, by the time you watch this video, who knows? Maybe 214 holds and we're sitting up here. But if this Apple loses 214, that means it will confirm uh, the lows from July the 25th and you know, it might, get, might start getting hit as well. So again, we'll see where Apple uh, winds up tonight uh, on after its conference call. Uh, Intel came out earnings. Uh, Intel missed on all metrics. Okay, uh, They missed on all metrics. They missed their top. They missed their bottom line. Um, and the worst part is the last thing you want to see if you are an investor, well, number one, they're cutting jobs, but they're suspending their dividend. Not really a great sign. And last but not least was Amazon. As you can see here, Amazon earnings came out. Uh, they beat on their top line, right? They beat their revenues, but the most important part is they missed on net uh, net earnings, which is not good. And you can see Amazon is getting shelled as well. So the market needed, um, you know, needed a hero. They needed a white knight. Again, who knows? Maybe Apple says something phenomenal on their conference call, uses the word AI, AI, artificial intelligence, intelligence artificially, any combination of both. And, you know, tomorrow morning, Apple is up 10% and the bulls can breathe a little bit. But again, you have to be prepared on what potentially could happen tomorrow. And if everything goes well, if everything goes well, you know, we could see some significant uh, follow through from today's session. Uh, the big number tomorrow, guys, write this down, write this down so you're not caught off guard. The big number here holding its rising support on the Qs is 454. 454 was the low from uh, two days ago, right? If the Qs lose 454, we're going lower. It's not a, it's not an opinion. That's kind of what technical analysis is. The, the same way I said, if the Qs lose the 50-day moving average, you got to go down to the next support. Well, here's the next support. That's the whole point. It's holding on to this next support. We start losing uh, 454 to the downside. We have room to 450 and then 445, uh, which is all the way down to the 150-day uh, SMA. Uh, when you look at the IWM, IWM held really, really well for a very long time. And today, an engulfing candle took down this whole formation. Again, that's not good. Uh, SPYs, um, you know, SPYs, write this down, folks. Uh, SPY is going to have a big level here. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the next day, but they're going to have a big, big level here below this 537.45 area. Again, it's going to be a crucial, crucial level. For the bulls to defend. If they don't defend, again, we're going to have lower uh, prices as well. The diamonds, I like, really uh, couldn't care less. But some individual names that you definitely want to pay attention to. Let's start off with Tesla. All right. So earnings lows for me is kind of a big deal, right? When a stock loses earnings lows, usually bad things are going to happen. Okay. It doesn't make a difference what stock it is, what industry. Usually bad things are going to happen. So here is Tesla, right? You see how Tesla is just sitting here on support. This candle represents the earnings lows, right? Watch Tesla tomorrow, okay? Watch Tesla. If Tesla starts losing its earnings lows tomorrow, 
Well, next support is the 50-day moving average. That's roughly about seven to eight points. Keep an eye on Tesla. AMD, after having a great response to earnings, lost its earnings lows today at 134, traded all the way down to 130. Watch what happens if it loses 130, right? If it loses 130, you could get into the 20s very, very quickly. Uh, look at a name like uh, look a name like Arm. Arm, we had a great pivot today. Excellent pivot today. Uh, took out the 29, which was the low from last week. Took out after hours lows, excuse me, pre-market lows of 26. Took out after hours lows of 24. And the stock went all the way down to 18. What happens if it loses 18, right? It's going to lose this whole formation here. So there's a lot of names. If you go through the NASDAQ 100, again, that's my kind of comfort level. That's kind of where I specialize. If you go through the NASDAQ 100 names, you will see a lot of names that are sitting there and really, really very close to technical damage. That's a very, very important part because if you have days like we saw today, like the IWM swallowed up three weeks worth of buying, you have the Qs swallowed up four or five days worth of buying, you're going to need an active God. You're going to need an active market God to turn around and really save the market. Again, can Apple single-handedly do it? to be determined, but the most important part is you can't be naive that your stock is going to survive. Again, if you're in it for five, 10 years, again, what are you doing watching this channel? I have no idea what to tell you five, 10 years. Yes, gun to my head. Do I think Apple will be higher than 218 in five years? Yes, gun to my head. Do I think Amazon will be higher than 175 in the next five years? Yes, five years, not tomorrow. And we're only getting ready for tomorrow. So guys, hopefully everyone is doing well. It's a trader's market. Uh, I've been saying this for a long, long time. I couldn't care less if this market goes up, down, sideways, or in between. We don't fall in love with the stock. I don't care if NVIDIA goes up or down. We don't low fall in love with the company. I don't care if Tesla goes up and down. We fall in love with the channels because if buyers clean up sellers, that means demand is breached. Stock will go lower. If sellers clean up buyers, that means supply is reclaimed, the stock will go higher. And if you understand and fully embrace that principle, then you are thinking like a trader and not an investor. Have a great night, everybody. God bless. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everybody continues to be well. Stay healthy. Stay happy. With God's help, I'll see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care.